All right, now we're heading into trapezoidal uh, rule just to remind us all the area of a trapezoid is one half times the sum of the base, base one plus base two times the height. Uh, let's see, so we have using the trapezoidal rule uh, approximate the area f of x uh, equals sine x above the x-axis on the interval 0 to pi using four trapezoids. So four trapezoids is sort of like saying four subdivisions. Um, always good idea to draw the graph of the function you're playing with. So sine x from 0 to pi would just be this piece. So this is pi, ranges negative 1 to 1, so 0 to 1 sits there. Uh, four Trapezoids means pi over 2 is in the middle, 3 pi over 2 is here. Uh, no, that's wrong. This is pi over 4, and then this would be 3 pi over 4, not 3 pi over 2. So now we're looking at what the area is going to be for each of these trapezoids. So base one here, I guess I can't really show that. Base one here would just be zero, and base two here would be the height of this function at that point. So if I were to draw my trapezoids, this would be one, this would be another, this would be a third, and then this would really just be a triangle. So my area using trapezoidal approximation will be approximately One half. Now, th this one half is common to all of them. The base one and the base two are going to change, and then the height is going to change based on what the sine value is. So the one half can be factored out, and now you have base one plus base two times the height, base one plus base two times the height, base one plus base two times the height. However, the height is constant as well, because the height is really the width of these trapezoids here. So the height is always the same. So in fact, we can factor out the height as well, which would be pi over 4. So 1 half times pi over 4. And now really, we just have base 1 plus base 2 plus base 1 plus base 2 plus base 1 plus base 2 and so on. So here we have 0. Uh, Yeah, zero plus, so zero, sorry for the brain fart there. Zero is the height at this stage. So it's not really going up anywhere, so it's just that. At pi over four, the height, or sine of pi over four, is going to be root two over two. So this will be root two over two. So this is base one for the first trapezoid. This is base two for the first trapezoid. And then we have, again, this is base one for the second trapezoid, so that'll be sine of pi over four, which is root two over two. This is base one plus, now we're looking at this as the base of base two of trapezoid two, which will be sine pi over two, which is one. Plus, now again, we're looking at the same height for the base one of trapezoid three. So this was base two, now we have one again for base one of trapezoid three plus the sine at that point, which would be root two over two again. And this is base two of trapezoid three. So this is trapezoid one. This is trapezoid two. This is trapezoid three. Plus for trapezoid four, we have base one of root two over two plus Finally, just the height at the very end, which is zero. So this is for trapezoid four. Now, one thing I want you to observe is that this number is the same as this, this number is the same as this, this number is the same as this. So the inside values are doubled, the outside values are by themselves. Now this is something that we can exploit as well. We can come up with a generalization, but to complete this problem, we have pi over 8 on the outside. 2 times 4 on the bottom would become an 8. 
0 plus the 0 on the flanks are just gone away. Those are just zeros. Now we have four, uh, 4 of these root 2 over 2. So I'm just going to write that as 4 times root 2 over 2. Because I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I have two singles by themselves. So I have plus 2. Uh, 2 goes into 4 twice. So this is really pi over 8 times 2 root 2 plus 2. And at this stage, if you really wanted to, you could factor out a 2, which would be 2 times pi over 8, uh, root 2 plus 1. 2 goes into 8 4 times, which would be pi over 4 times root 2 plus 1. Do not do any of these computations on the AP exam. This is what you're getting full credit for. Now, if from there, getting to here, you make a mistake, an arithmetic or an algebraic mistake, or somewhere along the way, maybe you group something incorrectly and you get it wrong, you're going to lose points. Don't do that. The question simply said, as a free response question, uh, do that. Now, if it's multiple choice, obviously you have to match your answer. Then you probably will have to go all the way to here. But on a free response question, anything that you can type into a calculator is sufficient. So this is something, this is going to be a mess, but this expression that we have here is something that I can plug into a calculator. So the, the, the rule of thumb is if it can be typed into a scientific calculator, not a graphing one, if it can be typed into a scientific calculator and arrive at this number, you're done. What would not have been accepted, actually, I have to check with Mark on this, but I believe because scientific calculators can do sine and cosine values as well, I believe this would have been accepted as well. Sine 0 plus sine pi over 4, and so on. So I'll, I'll check and, and get back to you guys on this, uh, whether this would be accepted on a free response question. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm almost certain that this would be accepted as well. The point I'm trying to get across is don't do more computations than you're required to. You don't get any points for it. But if you make a mistake, you're going to lose points as well. How am I doing on time? I got a little bit. All right, so here, I don't know if we'll finish this, but let's try. Uh, following table shows the speed in miles per hour of a cyclist at various times. Use a trapezoidal approximation to find the distance in miles. Again, approximation, so no equal signs anywhere. Uh, to find the distance in miles that the cyclist traveled in the 12-minute time period. So we're looking at the whole thing, and we're looking for trapezoids. Uh, do they give us subdivisions? No, so I, I, that means we have to use the whole thing. So in this case, a couple of things to note. The speed is given to us in miles per hour. The time here is given in minutes, because they tell us 12 minutes. Uh, you want to be careful because your units are going to be off at the end. Uh, if you multiply minutes by miles per hour, you're not going to cancel out the time units. You're, you're not going to get just the distance by itself. So either convert the minutes to hours or convert the speed from miles per hour to miles per minutes. Your choice. However you want to do that is, is up to you. Uh, in fact, I'll set it up, but then I'll have you guys finish this since I have a minute left. So it'll be 1 half times, now the widths are not the same. This is 2, this is 3, this is 1, 3, 1, 2. So we cannot factor out the width like we did in this problem. In this case, all the widths were the same, pi over 4, pi over 4, pi over 4, and pi over 4. In this problem, the widths are not the same. The, the widths are unequal. So the only thing you can factor out is the 1 half, and now you're going to have base 1 plus base 2 times the height. So base 1 plus base 2 will be 33 plus 25 times the height, which is 2. That's how wide this interval is. Plus, and then you have base 1 plus base 2 again, 25 plus 27 times the height of that. So that'll be 3. Plus, then you look at the next trapezoid, 27 plus 13 times the height here, which is 1 plus, and then you so on, so forth, and you continue on. 
Now, what this will give you is an answer in miles per hour times minutes. You're going to have to convert that to basically get rid of minutes, which is why, in my opinion, it's actually better to convert this into miles per minutes or this into hours at the very beginning. If you keep the numbers as they are, you're going to have to do a unit conversion at the end, which sometimes students are not very comfortable with. So try to finish this yourself with the unit conversion. The answer should be 3.9 miles. But the setup is the same, 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 times the height. And I'm right at 10 minutes. We'll see you in the next one.